Today I'm going to be taking a look at a pair of Arrow Films releases on 4K disc. They are Tremors and True Romance. John Perry at Mondo Celovec Movies rates Tremors very highly, and Clark Teddles down in Australia rates True Romance very highly. So just what do I think of these two rather good 35mm transfers? Tremors was directed by Ron Underwood and was released in 1989, might have been 1990 by the time we got to cinemas over here, but I always thought this film was a big success. It was, but not at the box office. It had an estimated budget of $11 million, but only took $16.5 million at the box office. However, it was about this time that the VHS sales and rental market was really taking off, and this is why Tremors is regarded as a success and is remembered so well and so fondly. The film has a 185 to 1 aspect ratio, comes with 5.1 sound now, which I thought was excellent, but you will also find the original Dolby Stereo and a 4.0 mix on this disc. It runs for an hour and 36 minutes. This was a 35mm shoot, so very good definition as you would expect. I found the colours a little muted in here, it looks slightly better on my television. So all our systems vary and that's something to bear in mind. But if you can possibly video project this one, you'll find it's just like watching a 35mm print in the home. It really is that good. Now early on for the opening, we're going to have optically inserted titles. And that means that more than one image are being projected simultaneously to be multiplexed into one finished product and that does result in increased film grain and image degradation as a result. So you may not get a great impression early on while those titles are running and indeed there are a few interior shots early on where the film grain increases because there hasn't been as much light and you may think they're slightly blurry, not very good definition, not as good as I was hoping but stick with it because by the end of the film you think you've just watched one of the best 35mm transfers thus far released on 4K and I don't think you'd be wrong in that assumption. Tremors is great fun. There's some bad language in it which some may find offensive, so not for children I suppose, but it doesn't take itself too seriously and the pairing of Kevin Bacon and Fred Ward is just about perfect and one of the best buddy-buddy relationships you're going to see on film. So overall this one gets a hearty recommendation and best of all right now as I record this, HMV have it in their sale at $14.99 and that goes for the next film I'm going to look at which of course is True Romance, and that is $14.99 too. Now Tremors I felt I had to get because John Amondo Celovec Movies was very enthusiastic about the image quality. And likewise, True Romance, young Clark Teddles down in Australia was very enthusiastic about this, and he really cited the colours in this, and he's not wrong. The colours are extremely rich in this one, more so I found than in Tremors, but both are exceptionally good. The definition I think is better in Tremors, the colours better in True Romance, but not quite such good definition. More interior shots in this where it's slightly too dark and the same thing happens, increased film grain, and definition suffers as a result, but it's another great Arrow Films release. Now I remember when True Romance was released towards the end of 1993 and we just didn't have a chance to get to the cinema to see it, but thankfully in those days the National Film Theatre used to run the major releases shortly after they'd done their spells in the West End cinemas, and so a few months later, early in 1994, we were able to see this film, and my recollection is that it was getting a lot of recommendations and people really did like it. So it was a surprise to find that the estimated budget of $13 million was all it recouped at the worldwide box office, so it clearly didn't make a profit on its cinema rounds. Tony Scott was the director, and he does state in the extras on here, which I think many of these extras have been seen before on DVD or Blu-ray, but he does say in there that he hoped he managed to contain the violence, and even though it's violent and there's a lot of bad language, he hoped it was fun. Well, I can remember seeing the film being quite shocked by how violent it was. Shouldn't have been surprised, really, because it was penned by Quentin Tarantino, who does find the violence a bit funnier than I do. But um, I've sort of grown to like, the, like this sort of thing a lot more in more recent years. I suppose we see so much of it now all the time that you do get used to it. But I really do not think 
and yes, I have reversed the artwork. I really do not think this one is suitable for youngsters. There's a lot of profanity in it, and uh, some people really will find it quite offensive. But Christian Slater and Patricia Arquette are the main stars of the film, but there is such a cast in this. I suppose some of them were at the beginnings of their careers really and not the well-beating stars that they are today. But Samuel Jackson makes an appearance in this. There's Dennis Hopper, Val Kilmer who plays Elvis, you barely see him, Gary Oldman, Brad Pitt and Christopher Walken. But the mainstays are Christian Slater and Patricia Arquette and they really are exceptional in the roles. You sort of root for them, you believe that they really are a couple even though it's so over the top. But somehow it all works and I do think this film is better today than when I saw it back in 1994. It has an aspect ratio of approximately 2.40 to 1. It came originally with Dolby Stereo Sound and that is on this disc but you also get a 5.1 mix now too. I played that 5.1 sound and it sounded very good to me. And there are two versions of the film on this disc. The theatrical version runs for an hour and 59 minutes and the so-called director's cut is two hours and one minute. Whichever one you watch, I'm sure you can have a good time with this, providing you don't mind a bit of violence, a bit of swearing, and a jolly good time all round. I watch the theatrical cut as I usually do because I'm not really into these longer versions that come about later. I want to see it as it was in the cinema and so maybe I'll watch the director's cut next time around. I really enjoyed it. As I said, I think it plays better today than it did when it was new and it's another one I'd recommend to anyone that doesn't mind a bit of violence and quite a bit of profanity. So both of these releases from Arrow Films are highly recommended. As I say, there's swearing in them bit too much violence perhaps in true romance but I think we're all getting used to that sort of thing now so if you can get them at 14 99 15 pounds then I think they're going to be great additions to your ever-growing 4k collection and your ever-diminishing wallet now in my last video I showed the latest issue of cinema retro and uh, Somewhere in Time is one of the main films featured in that. It's one I hadn't seen since it was first broadcast on television, but I read that article and they've done it again, haven't they? So thank you Dave Worrell and Lee Pfeiffer. This one came from HMV recently. I just went on their website and ordered it with a few others. So hopefully I'll watch that in the next few days and um, maybe in my next video I'll let you know if it's as good as I remember it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and perhaps consider subscribing so I'll be encouraged to create more content like this again in the future. Until the next video, bye-bye for now.